Have you ever noticed how a straw in a glass of water looks bent, even though you know it's straight? That's an example of refraction. Refraction is when light bends as it passes through different materials. This happens because light travels at different speeds through different materials, causing it to change direction. Reflection is another way that light interacts with the world around us. You must have looked at your reflection in a mirror. That's an example of reflection. Reflection is when light bounces off a surface and comes back to our eyes, allowing us to see what's around us. Together, reflection and reflection help us see and experience the world in amazing ways. They allow us to see colors, shapes, and even images in mirrors. So next time you see a straw in a glass of water or catch in a glimpse of yourself in a mirror, remember the incredible science behind it all. Now that we have talked about how light moves and interacts with the world around us through refraction and reflection, let's explore the different types of objects that affect the way we see things. Objects can be divided into three categories, transparent, translucent, and opaque. Transparent objects are ones that allow light to pass through completely so we can see objects clearly through them. Think of a window, eyeglasses, or a water bottle. Translucent objects, on the other hand, allow some light to pass through but not enough for us to see objects clearly. Examples include frosted glass, wax paper, and some types of plastics. Opaque objects do not allow any light to pass through, so we cannot see through them at all. This includes objects like walls, wood, and metals. So now you know that objects can affect the way we see the world, whether it's a transparent glass, a translucent lampshade, or an opaque football. The type of object will affect the way light behaves and how we experience the world around us. Reflection is the bending of light as it passes from one medium to another, such as from air to water or from glass to air. It occurs when light travels at different speeds in different mediums, which causes the light to change direction. When light enters a medium that has a more density than the medium it was traveling in, such as when it passes from air to water, the light is bent towards the normal, which is an imaginary line perpendicular to the surface of the medium. This is because light travels more slowly in water than it does in air. Conversely, when light leaves a medium and enters one with a lower density, such as when it passes from water to air, the light is bent away from the normal. This is because light travels more quickly in air than it does in water. Refraction is what allows us to see objects through lenses such as eyeglasses or microscopes and it also creates the beautiful patterns we see when light passes through prisms. And refraction can be observed in a fascinating rainbows where water droplets refract and create rainbow. Reflection of light is like a game of billiards where light rays bounce off a surface and change direction. It happens when a beam of light encounters a smooth, polished or shiny surface such as a mirror or a calm body of water. Just like how a ball bounces off a wall, light reflects off a surface at an angle that's equal to the angle at which it approached the surface. This phenomena is known as the law of reflection. When light reflects off a surface, it can create fascinating visual effects such as a reflection of a sunset in a lake or kaleidoscope of colors in a prism. The surface of an object can greatly affect the reflection of light. A smooth surface such as a mirror or a still body of water will reflect light in a predictable and clear way. This is because the surface is flat and uniform, allowing the light to bounce off without being scattered or absorbed. On the other hand, a rough or textured surface will scatter the light in many different directions, creating a diffuse reflection. Refraction is critical in eyeglasses 
microscopes and even the design of lenses for cameras and binoculars. Both reflection and refraction play a vital role in our everyday lives from the way we see ourselves in the mirror to the way we experience the world around us. So the next time you see a shiny object or a colorful prism, remember that it's all thanks to the amazing reflective and refractive properties of the objects and the way it interacts with light. Remember to keep your eyes open and your mind curious and never stop exploring. Thanks for watching.